Why is it that we have fat? Why do some of us have big bellies? Why have some of us have abs? What is the reason for this fat? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna go over the three most common problems of creating fat, but I'm also going to give you the solutions. How you doing everybody? Coach RJ from www.fitclub.fit. I've helped over a thousand people easily drop over a thousand pounds of fat in our fantastic belly burn program. So if you're interested in dropping some body fat, go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. So the problem for us accumulating body fat comes down to three simple answers. And the first is the honest truth, is that you're eating too much, is that we're in a caloric surplus. Now, no matter what people tell you, mass cannot be created out of nowhere. It doesn't matter if you're having hormones, if you're over 50, if you don't work out or whatever it is, is the fact that if you are gaining weight, that means that you're in a caloric surplus. The body cannot create something without something being given to it, okay? So if you had no Play-Doh in this hand and I had a big stack of Play-Doh in this hand and I took this Play-Doh from this hand and put it into this hand, that's the only way that Play-Doh is gonna get into that hand. And the same thing happens with your body fat. And so a lot of us think, well, you know, I barely eat, right? And I hear this quite a bit, is that I barely eat, coach. And then I actually analyze what they're eating, okay? So when I look at somebody's food and we just sit down and I'll just sit down with the food tracker and I'll say, okay, tell me what you ate today. So then the person would say, well, I don't eat breakfast, but I go to the Starbucks drive through and I pick myself up a large coffee with four creams, two sugars, and then I like to do a half a caramel pump. And then we plug that in and we're like, okay, so that's like 438 calories. And if you were to eat 438 calories in actual food, so two eggs is about 140 calories, two pieces of toast, you're looking at maybe another 150 to 160 calories. And then if you put butter and coconut oil on there, that would look like a lot of food to you. But that little drink that you're having, you're thinking, well, coach, I don't really eat. And I don't eat until lunch, but really you had calories. So that would be considered your breakfast and all those calories. And if you're not working out and you do two of those a day, plus you eat your regular food, is going to put you into a caloric surplus. And even if you eat healthy, so you're like, coach, I actually don't drink coffees and I don't add sugar and I don't add caramel pumps to my coffee, I have black coffee. But the problem is you dive deep into the peanuts or the cashews or the almonds. And so what happens, end of night, you put on a movie and, or you watch a little bit of TV because you want to unwind or you're on your phone or whatever it is and you make yourself a bowl of air pop popcorn, but then you add butter to it, and then you have a side of cashews where you're not tracking the portions, and you eaten all your regular food all day. You could have eaten chicken breast, spinach, brown rice, you know, your protein shakes, but that might be your caloric end. So what you burned and what you've eaten are at zero, and now you have this popcorn, which adds another two to 300 extra calories. And then you have a handful of nuts, which adds another two to 300 calories. And if you're over of what you should be burning, so if you burn 1500 calories, but you're eating 2000 calories, that's an excess of 500 calories a day that you're eating. Now, over the course of time, it takes about 3,500 extra calories for you to put on one pound of body fat. And so if you did this every day, seven days a week for the next, let's say two to three weeks, then eventually you're gonna start to gain that one pound per week. So as you can see, the fat accumulation can happen in the sense that you might not know you're drinking or eating those calories and they're all adding up, or you can be eating good things, but you're not tracking your food and you're not tracking your burn properly. So what ends up happening, you're in a surplus. And anytime you go into a surplus of what your body needs, it's gonna get stored, yes, some into the muscle, but the rest of it is pretty much gonna get stored into your body fat. So that's today's video, guys. You might be questioning why you're gaining fat, and so today I gave you the one problem. Now here's a quick solution, is that the simplest, most common way to do it, and I recommend this for people that don't wanna weigh 
and track everything because it gets tedious, is to eyeball your food. And so you would look at a portion size and you'd say, okay, that's roughly what the portion is. And before you eat it, slow down, put it into your food tracker, see where you're at for your calories of the day, Make sure that protein is the main macro. So if you don't know what that is, that's the, the, you got carbs, proteins, and fats are called macros. And so you wanna make sure that protein is the main macro. And once you go into the Food Tracker app, you'll be able to click on it. You'll be able to see, okay, yeah, protein is like my number one thing that I'm eating. And then make sure that the foods that you're eating throughout the day are plugged in before you eat them. And then you'll be able to see, wow, I've already eaten 1500 calories. When I check my smartwatch and my smartwatch says, hey, you've only burnt 1200, we're in that surplus. So it's gonna stop you from overeating. Now, if you guys need more help with this, I get it, it gets confusing. Go to our website, www.fitclub.fit, mention the belly burn, and we'll be able to guide you through this all.